Ever wondered North Island? Island? It isn't an island, is it an island, is it? So why do we call it an island Why? Well, first let's take a look at some other islands that aren't. Harbor Island and Shelter Island, or for that matter, Coronado Island, which isn't an island either. It's connected to the mainland by a narrow strip of land called the Silver Strand. But North Island is a little different, and you wouldn't think so to look at it. So how, you might ask yourself, did it ever get to be known as an island? Because it used to be that it really pretty much was. Most people don't know that if you go back to any time before the Second World War, Coronado was there, North Island was there, and between the two was water. Look, here's a picture. The lower part is Coronado, the city, the Hotel Dell, everything is down there and separated almost entirely by water is North Island. With thanks to the Coronado Public Library for these, here's a photo of North Island taken in August of 1933. Really does look like an island. And see, here in 1925, there's just a little stretch of sand that connects the two, and in a very high tide or a storm, that would be underwater and you really had an island, North Island. So much so that from out at sea, sailors would see what looked like two islands. There also was a bridge, a causeway that carried 4th Street over the water and onto North Island. Only back then, you were going over water, and that strip of water had a name. It was called Spanish Bight. B-I-G-H-T, Bight, means a gradual bend in the shoreline that creates a shallow area of water. When came the Second World War, San Diego Bay was dredged and the sand was used to fill in Spanish Bight. And where once there was water, now there is part of the Naval Air Station. But the island name has remained. And if you've ever wondered why, go back 80 plus years and look at photographs or maps. And there is the answer and a bit of history about San Diego. How about that? Hi, I'm Ken Kramer. If you'd like to see more stories just like that one, all you have to do is click on the subscribe button, and that way you'll know when there are more stories to be seen about San Diego.